uh, you know, I think back, Patrick, like what you just said, I think back to my residency and my internship where I go like, like days at a time with no sleep at all. And you just kind of, you, you somehow survive, but you're killing yourself. And studies show that it's correlated with cardiovascular disease and obesity and autoimmune disease and um, and all kinds of other problems. And so um, it's really critical to pay attention to it. And it starts with making the right decisions every night. And so we talk about the term sleep hygiene, and that really means, in essence, what the hell are you doing at night before you go to bed? You know, what are you doing in those last three hours before you go to bed? And it comes down to setting yourself up for success by preparing your mind and body for sleep. And so what I like to recommend is for three hours before bedtime, you're not eating or drinking anything. You're off your devices. So no blue light coming from your phone, no blue light coming from your iPad, your tablet, your laptop. A lot of guys will stay up till 12, 30, one o'clock working on the laptop, turn it off and lay down in bed, go to bed and they'll fall asleep. But then classic case is 2.30, 3 o'clock. I wake up in the morning, I can't fall back asleep again hear that all the time. And that is cortisol driven. That's stress driven. That is, um, that is behavioral in most cases. So generally, like, Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Cam. Yeah. Like talking like sleep hygiene is always a good thing. It's definitely whenever I would talk to my patients, a big thing I would kind of preach to them. Cause a lot of times as you're counseling through them or talking to their day, they're telling you a whole bunch of these flags, like he'd mentioned. Um, but unfortunately, obviously, it doesn't fit everybody. So for myself, being a nuclear pharmacist, uh, we're based, our hours are based on the half-life of the drugs we're making. And that's very early. So like my sleep, especially right now, is terrible. So like I work, I go to work at like 10 p.m. I'm there till like 7.